The Fallbrook Art Association is an artists for artists organization. Visit our gallery at 300 North Brandon Street in Fallbrook, California to see fine art exhibitions from some of Southern California's most talented creators. Exhibitions change regularly, so visit our website to find out the latest news. If you appreciate art, you will love visiting the Fallbrook Art Association. Hi, this is Nancy Heinz Glazer. We're starting off a wonderful set of programs to interview important people, artists, wonderful creative types here in Fallbrook. And we're here at the library at Fallbrook High and glad to be here. Um, I am lucky enough to have two wonderful artists. The name of the program is going to be All Art Always. Uh, Got to have it always. And I'm lucky enough to have uh, Rich Sturgalls and Leslie Sweetland from the Green Art House. How are you? Fantastic. Oh, wow. Happy to be here. <laughs> good, good. And I think part of the reason I wanted you here is your mission when you came to Fallbrook to begin your art school and uh, um, retreat uh, is that you had a specific mission in mind. Uh, Les, I'm going to ask you that one. What's your mission at the Green Art House? To provide a place that supports art and artists and to do it as green as possible and keep our footprint as small as possible. And you recycle what? I know you do recycle lots of things. But. We, we recycle plastic bottles. We, uh, all of the soiled water from watercolor painting and acrylic painting goes into buckets outside to evaporate. And so we're not putting any of the heavy metals that are in the pigment down the drain, or in our case, into the septic system. Um, we have a service that comes for all of the paint rags and the soiled solvents, and they will come at and pick it up and then they properly dispose of it. The rags are incinerated and the um, soiled solvents are actually cleaned, filtered, and put back into jugs and sold in the hardware stores. Easy for you to say. Yeah. That's, a, that's an intensive process, but it's your commitment yep. to the earth, the planet, and the art, I know. Still yes. do good art, but do it the right way. Yep. Eco-friendly, I think, is the term that's on your website. Take care of the planet. Yeah, and you know, I, I think it's always so interesting to find how people join forces. You guys are in partnership at the Green Art House. Um, how did you find each other or get here? It's, you didn't just plop down from story. the sky. Uh, uh, I'm going to you with that one. Uh oh, Rich. all right. Um, I did a demo and a critique at the Fallbrook Art Association one night. And after the demo, we did the critique and, and people brought up their paintings and I talked about them and helped them through possibly some of the situations that they were having little difficulties with. She was there and she brought in a pencil drawing, self-portrait. Self-portrait. And it was beautiful. But there were a few things that I thought could raise her from an advanced person to more of a master. And um, she worked on that, and that's how we met. She started taking some of my classes. We got a little bit, uh, a little bit further along with the, the studies, and she walked up to me and said, I want to be in galleries. And I said, do you have any clue what you just asked me? Because <laughs> I'm going to be really tough on her now. Yeah. And she did it. She right. did it. And, and uh, she studied. She put the work in. And how many galleries were you in at that point? Four. Four, three, four galleries. Three, three or four. So, I, I mean, I, I was very impressed. And then, then we started talking about us doing our own classes somewhere because I was renting a space. And I thought, why don't we get a building and do this ourselves? Well, and I wasn't teaching. <laughs> I wasn't teaching yet. It, start, it started out as we were in the back room of a gallery, and we went to Temecula 
to see if there was spaces we could rent there. And they wanted this ungodly amount of rent. So well, I said, well, well, we'll do this ourselves. Well, you had a big dream. I remember you told me with a lot of people start out and they just say, hey, you know, hey, kids, my uncle's bought, got a bar and let's put on a show it, in the old Mickey Rooney movie. Right. But you got, and so you had a very grand scheme and I then did, changed did, it through time. Well, it, it went from real. this, it went, yes, it went from this one room to 20 acres with all kinds of mind. unique <laughs> right. uh, places for people all over the world to come and stay. Yeah. And create with us. You know, I was going to go to the Plain Graveyard in Arizona, chop off B-52 nose, and bring it back and make it an apartment for people to stay in. You know, a caboose. All that kind of fun stuff. The well, The containers. The cargo container. Mm -hmm. Well, we, where are you now? <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Let, let yeah, me, let I me, know. Let me Keep going. We, we got to the point where the architect, we sat down with him, and he went over what we needed. And I said, all right, you know, uh, money's no object. Do your thing. Well, we were thinking maybe three million. He said 11 million. Money came, became an object. And then money became <laughs> yeah, an object. Certainly, certainly. <laughs> so, so we're like, okay, uh, we, we can't do this. We can't do this. So we, we did roll it back a little bit. And uh, we ended up going to a couple of places. But we, we ended up over at Pala Mesa Resort there. We leased a, a building from them. Mm -hmm. They've been fantastic to us. We love them there. They love us there. Um, and we run everything out of that. And, and we're mm -hmm. still as eco-friendly as we possibly can be. And mm -hmm. it's to, I mean, I think I found you. Somehow, I'm trying to even remember when I first met you. But it's so nestled in the middle of a golf course. Uh, of all things, yeah. and there, the back road has to go past the ninth hole, I'm not quite sure. And I just, I, it was the whole idea of getting there that really impressed me too. Yeah. And you guys had been at another location and came here, mm -hmm. if right. I recall, right? You were at another mm -hmm. resort or a golf course? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when, and so, well, first of all, when did you come to Fallbrook and take me back to when you were there at San Luis Rey? When did you move here to Fallbrook? Almost seven. No, November of 2017. So we you, officially opened December 1st of 2017. So you're coming upon on five. Five years. Yes. Yeah. And before that, how long were you at San Luis Rey? You were there for a short time? <laughs> Three months. Very Three short months. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> very short time. Moved out before the fire, uh, so we just, somebody yeah. was on your yeah. side. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we just we had a much better opportunity at Palo Mesa, and we took it. Yeah. And you've been there, and so I know that one of the things we talked about, and I met you, I guess I just said, oh, I'll take pictures or something. I'm not quite sure. And I had such a good time. I wanted to keep going there. <laughs> and that's really, I knew that you were on to something and both excellent at what you do. Because I never felt funny, uh, and I, I always felt welcome there. And you've good. entertained a lot of good students, new students, old students. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, how do they get to you? Uh, a lot of word of mouth, believe it or not. We get a you. lot of word of mouth. Um, and then we, we advertise social medias. Website um, pulls a bunch in. Website pulls what, a bunch what's in. Your, please give us your website so everybody hears what it is. It's www something. Thegreenarthouse.org. Org. Org. O -R -G. Okay. And you can go there and, and look at the whole schedule, look at what we offer. Um, I class. love when everybody comes in and introduces themselves, talks to us a little bit, uh, gets to know us, and audits the class, audits mm -hmm. everything we're doing because uh, you need to see it. Artists are very visual, right? So the, when they're in there, they feel the peace. It's a sanctuary. When everybody comes in there, everybody gets creative. We, and we're back behind the driving range, and we get a lot of privacy, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's not loud there. There's not a lot of foot traffic. There's not a lot of, you know, just noise. It's just very pleasant. And uh, so we love being back there with everybody. So if, if we have anybody come in, I, I love when they come in to introduce themselves and audit the place because they usually end up signing and coming in. 
So can people come for a tour? So if we had some mm -hmm. interested student artists, could we set up a tour also? Oh, yeah. Do you teach just, all ages? Just drop in. Yeah? We do. Okay. I, I, would, I would say, uh, you know, nothing younger than seven. I mean, I, I, have, I have a 96-year-old mm -hmm. who comes and takes classes from me. And she's got so much fire in her belly. I, she, she outruns me. In, in the room, and, and it's like, I, I can't keep up with her sometimes. She's, she's such a, a beautiful person. But we, we've taken in a lot of people, and, and over the years, mm -hmm. I, I've been teaching for over 20 years, and I'm probably in that a uh, little bit over 400 students over the years. And every one of them, every one of them, I've been very fortunate enough to be just honored and it's a privilege to be able to share what I know with all of these people. They, they come to us because they want to grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they want to get better. And we have great and you're teachers just there. there. To help them. Yeah, uh, you do. You have a variety of teachers. You have sculpture. You have uh, everything, I think. Mm -hmm. I, well, I, what I want to do is be able to take a break. And when we come back, if it's OK, I want you to go into the entire list of what, you, what it is you oh, provide. Yeah. So don't go yeah. away. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Rich and Leslie at the Green Art House. Mm -hmm.